Hi everybody, so what I'm going to look to do now is practically um, analyse this this torch, get some information down on the page using um, Access FM. A for aesthetic, C for cost, C for customer, E for environment, S for size, S for safety, F for function and M for materials. So this is the second video um, using this example and uh, here we go. So you know the rules of annotation. We've done this in the past. You've got a good idea of what to do. So let's um, let's start with aesthetics then. So here we go. I'm going to say that aesthetically, aesthetically, remember that's to do uh, with how something looks, what it looks like, the color, the shape, and so on and so forth. Aesthetically, the colors work well together because that's what i think they do i mean i know we've got a novelty item here um and so on and so forth um i can't see round the back there but i know there's a switch there so i'll just put my arrow there because it's out of sight because i saw it on the actual product itself and i'm, I'm gonna actually say that there is a textured grip on switch and then I'm going to just put a dash um, useful when hands are moist okay so I'm happy with that that'll that'll do for start with aesthetics cost um, okay, I'll put an arrow here. When you're trying to analyse, you know, write the comments in around to give the, the sheet some more, some sort of balance. So, cost, I'm going to put a prox. Now, I paid 4 95 And then I'm going to go dash again, and I'm going to say good value, because I believe that that is good value for a little novelty torch. A little personal opinion there as well. Um, and I'm going to say there, I'm going to say uh, mass produced. Okay. Um, and I'm going to say low material costs because it's mass produced. You know, a lot of material in bulk, so on and so forth, keeps the cost down. So... What sort of, what would, so that's aesthetics and custom. What about customer? So let's come in here. We'll say something about the customer. So who would buy the, the, the product? So I'm going to say uh, parents may purchase torch for children. So I think the parents would purchase it and the users would be the children the, the the customer would be the parent the user would be the be the children um and i'm going to put eg i'd say five to nine years because i think five to nine year, years uh male and female i don't think it's gender specific this particular design so we've got some customer there. What about the environment? So I'll come up here with something about the environment. Um, I'm going to say few parts are um, recyclable. I mean, by that, I mean that really there's very few parts on this we could reuse. Uh, I'm going to say here that this um, wrist strap and I'm dash could be reused so not um not all parts are, are not reusable I mean this body here unless it went for recycling to be produced uh, shredded and and uh made something else made from it you know but other, other than that there's not many parts we could reuse maybe the lens or something like that um Underneath here, screws could be removed. T 
to repair uh, torch. So that's a good thing. We can actually repair it rather than replace the product. We could actually have a go at repairing it if, if, if possible. Um, so what about the size? Um, not much we can say about the size here. I'm just going to say that the size is comfortable comfortable for users five plus years. So if you're over five years, you could probably pump that handle and so on and so forth and hold the thing pretty steadily in your, in your hand. Um, I could also add if I wish that, you know, if it was much smaller, it wouldn't, it wouldn't be very much use or much bigger, it'd be hard to actually operate. So that's the, one of the S's in access. S for safety. Um, I would say that um, no batteries. Um, therefore, no disposal. I would add also that it's well manufactured um no loose parts so we've got you know potentially we haven't got any choke hazards or finger traps or anything like that or sharp edges you could add nice smooth curved edges that aren't sharp so there's lots and lots of different things you could add for that um function so let's come in here Okay, uh, I'm going to put that you pump handle to produce energy dash then stored. Okay, um, and then I'm going to say. Uh, LED light emitted and a diode lamp um, gives off light because that's what it does. I could add also in here about the switch at the back uh, at the top here, so um, that's how it how, how the lights actually released. But um, I, I won't do that in this case, but that's something that you could do. Um, I don't think that it could really be improved this because like I say it's a very much novelty item so I would say for M for materials finally I'm going to say that this is ABS plastic and I'm going to say that it's tough durable okay it's recyclable because that type of plastic is all right. So that's why the materials may be selected uh, for that. Um, I could also say that it's suitable for mass production, which it very much is. Okay, if we need to injection mold parts or, or whatever. I could also say uh, that this is a thin plastic so it's not using much material that's good environmentally okay the strength so the strength in this is from a shell structure so a bit like an egg um, this is a thin plastic and it gets its strength from the actual fact that it's a shell okay and, and really, I, I mean, I, I could add here that this is a woven fabric wrist band. Okay, and I can add there that that's comfortable. So what I've done there is I've added quite a lot of annotations. I've not labelled. I've come up with factual, intuitive information 
that I've researched myself or got my peers to assist me, my classmates gone, maybe gone on the internet to find out information about ABS and so on and so forth, or gone on the net to look at what these products cost or where they're manufactured or how, and so on and so forth. So Access FM, aesthetics, cost, customer, environment, size, safety, function, and material. That is another method using a mnemonic acronym that you could use to analyze any product. So good luck with this, have a go, and thanks very much.